I'm making strawberry pepper fancies. Now this is made from a light sponge which has got cracked black pepper in it, which goes really, really well with the cream and strawberry filling, topped off with fondant icing and some rose petals to finish. Now the base for these fancies is a simple sponge, and it really is easy. We've got some self-raising flour that's been sifted, and then baking powder, castle sugar, and then some freeze-dried strawberries. And then for the pepper itself, try and always use fresh black pepper. It's gonna be a nicer, fresher, more zingy flavor. And you want about a teaspoon in here. And then to that butter. And because you're blending everything together, make sure the butter is really soft before you start. And then in with three eggs. And that's it, all the ingredients in, and just turn the mixer on. Now I'm using a stand mixer. If you don't have one of these, just put all the ingredients into a large bowl and you can use an electric can whisk and just blend it until it's smooth. I've got a square cake tin here that's just lined in the bottom with some greaseproof paper. Because I'm using a loose bottom tin, it's best to stick it on top of a baking tray just in case anything does spill out. It also makes it much easier to take in and out of the oven. Just spread the mixture out evenly across the tin. And then just a little tip, to make it cook evenly, just make a slight hollow in the middle, because the centre is going to take slightly longer to cook, so if you make it a bit thinner, it'll all cook more evenly. And that just needs to go into a hot oven at 180 degrees. After 35 minutes, the cake will be golden brown and just firm to the touch. Turn it out and leave it to cool on a wire rack. And for the filling, I'm going to start off with some double cream and some icing sugar and just whip those up to soft beaks. And that's what you're looking for. So the cream wants to be stiff enough it's going to hold the strawberries and not spill out the side of the cake. And then for the strawberries, because this is a sandwich cake, you want to make sure your chunks of strawberry are quite small, otherwise the cake won't sit evenly. Just scoop them up, add to the cream, and then fold them through. Now to assemble the cake, just flip it over and remove the paper and then you need to cut it in half and cutting cakes in half can be a little bit tricky. Often people find that they go off on a bit of a wonky angle so just a little tip for that. Work out where you're going to work on a corner and just mark it with your knife and then do the same all the way around the cake before you cut and that way you've got a line to follow as you cut through the cake. So once you've marked it you can cut through and your knife will follow that line. So take the filling, spread it over the cake. Take the cream almost all the way to the edge. Take the top half, carefully lay it on top. Transfer it onto a wire cooling rack. Now to stick the fondant icing to the top of the cake, we're gonna need some glue. So I'm using red currant jelly and a little dash of water and just warm them together in a pan. Now while they're warming, I'm just gonna cut out my icing to the top. So I've got some fondant icing I've rolled out here. Use a little bit of icing sugar to stop it from sticking. And then I've got the base from the cake tin, which is the perfect size for the top. And then use a knife to trim away any of the excess. Once the red currant jelly is completely melted, paint it over the top of the cake. You need to be quite generous with this. As this cools down, it will bond to the icing, so the icing is not going to fall off as you cut it into squares later. Carefully. Lift up your icing and lay it over the top. And once the icing's on, that needs to go into the fridge to chill until the filling's nice and firm. Then take it out of the fridge, cut it into squares, and sprinkle the rose petals and serve. And there you have it, strawberry pepper fancies.